That's cute. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to part 11. That's right. You guys have been hanging on for 11 parts of this conversation. So welcome to part 11. We have spent the last 10 days building and I've been showing you incredible ideas and many how to's, grab and goes, stuff that you can do for under 20. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. We got one more day left and that's tomorrow of this grab and go under 20 series. Today, I'm going to show you guys the in-home bar ideas. So they're going to be just some stuff that you could do, make as cute. It's probably the least expensive of all the items in our kit series. And what you guys can offer your people who have in-home bars. But as I say, in the last 10, let's show you the products that we're going to use in this video. All right, the things you're gonna need for this project are the beverage insulators and the pub style bottle openers from Driven By Graphics. Uh, that's Marvin's uh, shop. You're also gonna need neoprene coasters. I'm using the four inch rounds. I suggest any of the neoprene line would be perfect for this, um, but I definitely think that the round is just to just add some shape, if you will. You can get those from Johnson Plastics or Condi. All you need is sublimation design. You're going to get that from the Sassy Subber on Etsy, of course. And then you have a heat press, heat tape, blowout paper, a lint roller. That's right. We need the lint roller because we're going to be doing a fabric today. And the settings in this video will vary um, depending on the product. Because it's neoprene, it's going to be kind of easy, though, when we get to it. So there you go. That's what you're going to need to, to be doing this. And here we go. So we've got some beautiful designs. Um, I totally did the diamond plate. Uh, you guys have seen this design before. So this is going to go on Marvin's all white. They call this the bartender style because what it is is so you can go like this because bartenders like to flip it around. That's what that's for. Or you can hang it. But this is all white top and bottom for this. So that's, I like that part of it. I have a diamond plate and copper design. We also are gonna take the design. We're putting it on the four inch round neoprene coasters. All right, and then we have our beverage insulators. Uh, and that's these right here. We're also gonna do the diamond plate with that. Now, when you're looking at the set as a whole, all right, these are pennies on the dollar. The most expensive item is this metal uh, pub style whole, uh, pub style bottle opener. That's $3 uh, that uh, Marvin sells it for. This is about 85 cents each. And then I can't remember if these are pennies. They're like 40 cents or some strange thing on the dollar. Really, all in for this whole set. You're under $5. That includes the print, the ink, uh, your paper, just to produce the set. This is a killer set right here. It's the least expensive to produce and it allows for you to sell it $20. Now, yes, as we all know, you can sell it for whatever you want. The products that you see and the pricing that I give you is completely up to you. You can mix and match, do whatever you want. Get fun and bougie with it for all I care. Let's get this started. I got one more design to pull off the press. All right, we'll set this behind us. We're gonna grab some butcher paper. As we have said before, we like to protect our investment. Add some butcher paper to your bottom platen. Why? They call it a staging area, they call it a bottom platen, they call it a lot of things, just don't call it late for dinner, right? So you wanna definitely make sure you protect your investment from off-gassing from previous projects. You don't want it to get on there. And trust me, with this being white, you will notice any residue from a previous product on your image if there is one. Now we wanna take a sticky lint roller. We're gonna lint roll both sides. Now, I have glitter all over my board right now. I was playing with glitter earlier, so these things are gonna sparkle. <laughs> We're gonna try to get off all that glitter though. Nothing like a good glitter tumbler or koozie for a guy. 
There you go. These are going to be definitely glitterified. Okay. Now, because there is glitter all over my, why not just try to get it off with that too? <laughs> all right. So let's do, because these are thinner. Um, I do have, have, I have the temperature at 395 for 50 seconds. We are just going to lay these out. Now you can use some pro spray if you want. I use a Loctite repositionable spray. I also like to use good old fashioned tape right here. Push it down. Neoprene and tape do not get along. I will give you the uh, 401 on that one. They do not get along very well, but you just gotta try to get it to the press. Okay, so we're gonna put these down here. We're gonna grab another piece of butcher paper. The butcher paper protects the top of our platen from any previous or any bleed out, any blowout, whatever they want to call it. Okay, we're going to drop it down. We're going to do a medium to firm. With neoprene, you don't have to do squish the heck out of any pressure. That's the same for this as well. You don't want to squish these or they just, they don't work as well. So you don't want to squish them. You want to give them a medium to light pressure. It will sub, don't worry. You just have to finesse it to know what you're looking for. All right. All right, so we've pressed both sides. Now I want to see that my design, I did this design a little bit on the big side, but that's okay because I'm always afraid that with neoprene, it spreads out. Um, and that's probably one of the things that I don't like about neoprene. The only thing probably is that it does spread out. Now, yes, I do what they call a tape tuck method. I tuck the tape inside. I don't know why, I just do. All right, I just tuck it on the inside. Um, it, for me, it just seems to hold it down. I don't know really the rhyme and reason for it. I just do it. You're gonna secure this however you so choose. Okay, so that's where that wants to be. Let's pull these off. Now, as you can see, upside down, they swell, but let me tell you, they press stunning. Look at that. How? beautiful are they now these will lay flat after they cool um as you can see neoprene and tape does not get along very well i am going to use another spot on my platen here or on my paper because i don't want to waste a ton of paper but i do want to get these on the press so all right that's a little bit too firm You, like I said, you don't want a tight pressure on these. Look at how cool those look. We're going to keep building this set. I love making sets. It's probably one of the nice things I love to make. I love making me a good bundle or a nice basket idea. Um, because you know what? People feel like they're getting a bang for their buck. Now, let me tell you, there is a news report out about the amount of shortages that are happening right now, and people aren't spending the way they used to on big ticket items right now. And this was on the news report last night and at lunchtime today about how people are spending their money on less. So under 20 is the market to be had this Christmas. You're going to get a lot more bees with honey um, when it comes to all of this. So we're going to line this up ornaments are going to be huge uh, because they're a great little gift if you will um, but they still have some nice presents with them now you will notice that when i go to flip this over i did the design if you notice the holes i made sure that when i offer my designs on my sassy sub or etsy page i will give you both the top and the bottom because people forget they have to mirror the image. So, and some have to be mirrored, some don't. But if you put your wording the same way on both, it's gonna work. So that's why I personally like to include the top and the bottom or the front and the back on this because when you go to flip this over, it now lines up correctly and the wording is facing correctly. If you were to do two of these, one side's not gonna match. So you definitely wanna make sure that you get from a vendor who understands because you know what? Not always are we thinking about when we're pressing, we just kind of press. There's side one. Okay, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of digging the, the glitter in here. Not intentionally trying to have glitter. 
But when you're doing a lot of how-to project projects this week, this is where it's been fun. All right, let's get these backsides done real quick. And we're gonna line it back up again. Yep, okay. Now, I'm kind of one of those people that will line it up so that it matches on the front and the back. You guys are gonna do whatever you want, of course. Okay, and now these guys line up here. Nice part about having a pattern is that you can try to line it up the best that you can, um, no matter where it is. Let's get some more butcher paper. I could have used this. I'm not. You know what? I'll waste the paper today. <laughs> okay. Now let's do the back. Protecting our investment. Oh, that's not tight enough. There we go. There we go. So this is how this is going to turn out. So like I said, you want to get from vendors who understand. It, it, the more work I can do on my end for you guys, the least or the less problems you're going to have on your end, especially when you're pressing stuff at 2 a.m. and you really just don't think about which direction something is going in. You just want to add the name. You just want to be able to print it and you want to be able to press it and keep right on going with your day. All right. Give it about a couple more minutes. Um, so what you can add to this, you can add wine bottle openers. You can add uh, cork tops. You can add other stuff to this particular set if you want to. But honestly, for me, I am all about this set right now. I would put this all together in a t-shirt box because they're small and they're very thin. I'd put it with a t-shirt box. I will show you how to line it up. I don't have any boxes in stock right now. Mine are due in. But you would line it up like this and put your pub in, put this in the middle and put your two koozies. But I'll show you how to present it, so to speak. I have all my boxes for Christmas on order right now. Okay. Woohoo. Woohoo. Now let's take a brief pause right now to talk about the seams that everybody dreads on the side of these. So you can do a design that's really forgiving, like this one, because it's gray. You really just don't notice the seam too much on these. That's why I love that. If you notice, they're not squished the heck out of me on the pressure side. Um, so this is a really forgiving design. I love a good forgiving pattern, especially when it's something that I'm not confident in doing, but I think they're fun to do. So these, the insulators, for an example, I love doing them. They actually are quite easy, but I always dread that line. So I love me a good forgiving line. I also like designs that may just kind of be like a, a paintbrush mark along the edge. I like that too, because then it looks like you intentionally did something. If there's any shadowing in any way, shape or form, or it has some weirdness, you're not going to notice it. So I love me a good forgiving design when it comes to stuff like this or to tumblers. We all know I'm part of that tumbler club. All right. So this is how, once we get this done, is how I would set it up in the box. I mean, there you go. Right. So let's get this pressed. This is going to be a little bit more on the firm side because it's metal and I can lock down my pressure on here. Now I like my fingerprints. You definitely, you know, I do like my fingerprints. So you want to make sure that you get yourself a heat glove when you're doing this. But so far, look at that set. That's a classy set um, for a guy's in-home bar. You know, the man cave, if you will. That's classy. You can add the neoprene. Here's why neoprene works for me. Because if they lose it or if it gets destroyed your heart doesn't break because it happens okay these are neoprene these are very inexpensive these work for great promotional items as well because they are under a dollar to produce they are a great item to have now if they lose their bartender or pub style bottle opener I might be a little hurt by that. So there you go. This is this is a great grab and go for promotional items, but it's great for that in-home bar. Now let's pull this off. It's gonna be hot. 
But let me tell you, it presses like a dream. Oh, like a dream. Like a dream. Now, you're going to see, if I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there are white spots in this because I had glitter all over my table. I'm going to have to, I'm going to definitely have to wash that again. Got glitter everywhere. Okay, so now you're going to see this is going to this is going to sub in the correct direction at this point because why? I made sure that the image was flipped. Okay, even if I leave it blank, it's just so that you don't have to remind yourself to flip the image. Um, it, it, it's just really I'm trying to think for you at this point. We're going to get crazy busy with our work, and if somebody can do a little bit of the thinking, we are forever grateful. Okay, let's put this back on the press. All right. So far, are we good? You guys have learned a lot in the last 10 days, being day 11. I hope you guys are finding some great items that you can offer in your shop for under $20. Maybe you guys are thinking of some think outside the box ideas. Maybe you guys are thinking, you know what? I didn't think to pair that with that. And you get more bees with honey. So look at what you have in your arsenal. Look at all the amazing products and see what you can mix and match with like today. I might have used that coaster a thousand times over the last week, but each time it was for a different set or it's for a different meaning, a different reason. Now you can upgrade your set if you want, and you could put the hardboard coasters with these. And with the hardboard coasters, you could use the gaming stuff that I have over in my shop as well. That's right. I have a game that you can have play off of the hardboard um, coasters. So you could up your set a little bit. And even still, that's still even really inexpensive to get two of them at a bartender type game a bar game it's amazing hot holy holy moly let me tell you she subs gorgeous i've never been more in love with a metal product but let me tell you what there you go this is exactly how i would set it up in my box i would put some shredded brown paper i'd give it a really nice masculine look i would put it in a white box sounds crazy but i put it in a white box masculine touch with the brown shredded paper put these on top of it it is a winner 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 chicken dinner right there that is a gorgeous set like yeah I cannot tell you how much I love these sets. All right, I'm going to get them closer to the, you know, I'm not taking this off because I'm going to burn myself. So I'm going to get it closer so y'all can see what it looks like. Look at all the detailing. You could see that you would think that that's real copper, both sides on point with this. Look at how that looks, right? And then we have the coasters. Can't go wrong with a good coaster. Okay. I don't care if it's the neoprene, if it's the hardboard, really, I just love me a good coaster. So this is a great, um, design as well on there. And then the piece of resistance and me going to burn my fingers <laughs> is this right here. Like for reals, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Front and back, spot on. Perfect. I love this whole collection. So if you love this collection and you want to add it to your arsenal, go for it. Do it. This is a great thing to have. As I've done in the last 10 days, let's see the products that I've used in this video. All right, as you saw, the products I used in this video are the beverage insulators and the pub style bottle opener from Driven by Graphics. He has the white bottle openers. They are just, oh my God, I can't even, I can't even. They just sub beautifully. Then you have the neoprene coasters. They're the four inch coasters you can get from Johnson Plastics or Condi. Any of your big name companies, they will definitely have those for you. You need a sublimation design from people like myself, the Sassy Subber over on Etsy. You need a heat press and heat tape. You need blowout paper, lint roller, and the settings will vary depending on the manufacturer instructions today i used 395 for 50 seconds on 
everything that I did today is what I pressed it at. It came out gorgeous. Please remember for neoprene, you don't want squish the heck out of me pressure. You need pressure that's medium to light. You don't want to squish these and they do sub beautifully even at the medium to light pressure. I hope you guys have been enjoying these over the last 11 days. Today was day 11. We did the bar tender bar in home bar set gift idea. Tune in tomorrow, 4.30 Eastern Central Time. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time. Try that again. Tune in tomorrow, 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. And you will see day 12. We're going to wrap up the day 12 series of the grab and go of what you guys could offer your clients for under $20. So again, join me tomorrow. Same time, same great channel at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time for this. Stuff like this. All the wonderful things. I hope you guys are learning amazing things over the last 11 days. We have one more day left. See you guys all later on the flip side.